is incredibly heartwarming. High school athlete Carl Joseph has astounded his doctors, his teammates, and everyone else in his hometown of Madison, Florida. Carl is a triple threat. He has varsity letters in track, basketball, and football. But Carl's heroism extends far beyond the athletic arena. Madison, Florida is a small, quiet town just south of the Georgia border. It's not exactly a famous place, but today its 3,000 citizens are celebrating one of their own. He's an 18-year-old high school senior, Carl Joseph. Carl's a superb athlete. He's a key member of the Monroe High School varsity basketball team. But that's only one of his sports. Carl also plays both offense and defense on the football team. Coaches have nothing but praise for him. I've had the great pleasure of watching Carl Joseph play football. He's got quickness. And above all, he has gotten balance out of this world. I was so amused at watching him hit, go to the ground, spin out, and get back into the play. In track, he was a, a shot putter discus man. Uh, but in Brantford, Florida last year, he did something that uh, probably Brantford, Florida has never seen before themselves. Uh, he literally stopped the track meet when he high jumped 5 feet 10 inches tall. All this may not seem that incredible, but you have to realize that Carl Joseph has only one leg. To think that he has the strength in his upper arms and his shoulders that he can hit that center, control the center, throw him off, get into the play, and the great determination in his pursuit is really something to see. Come on, Carl. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah. Play a lot out one time. Yeah. Come on, Carl. There you go. Good play. All right, that's it. When I first started football, it was out in the streets. Well, about about five years ago, my friends, you know, they asked me to play, and I would play. You know, I knew I wanted to play it, and I knew I could play it. They let me quarterback. It, and then I throw pass. I hop around with my leg on, cause I'll never play with my leg on. Cause he'd always be in my way, always slow me around, they'd catch me quick. My mother didn't want me to play cause I didn't have but one leg. One day she kept me from playing sports and I cried. And she said, if that what you wanted to do, you go ahead and do it then. And I came out here with a friend or two. And my friend asked me, say, won't you ask the coach to let you play football? So I asked the coach and he said, well, I don't know. Cause you're handicapped and you have to see from the doctor, I'll get a notice of. So I came back and got a letter and gave it to my coach out here the next day. And he said, well, you know, you're on the team. So after my third, after my third game, he started me off on defensive tackle. The coach always used me for uh, inspiration of the team. He said that uh, if I can get out there and do it with one leg, he figured that they can get out there and do it with two. Don't think for a moment that his teammates take it a little easier on Carl. They simply can't afford to. And that's why he has their undying respect. When I first came to the high school and I seen Carl out here hopping around, I said, can't be, no way, never. So first time coach said, all right, Donnie and Carl, y'all get down here. I said, well, I'll take it easy on him. You know, he's only got one leg, poor fella. Well, after I found myself about four yards back, I never said that again. I know I've never looked at it as a handicap. I know he doesn't because when he's back there hopping along after you and you're just trying to scramble out of his way, you don't think one leg. You think get rid of the ball because he's coming. And he keep the team fired up on the field and not the field. It's a good example for all of us. To me, <laughs> I'm not handicapped. Only thing different than me and another person. He just had two legs and I only have one. Now, I look around in Madison, I see a lot of handicapped people, you know. I say, hey, you know, don't let that down. Go ahead, get on out to the open, let the people see, you know. Don't never hide yourself. Be yourself, you know. Don't never be nobody else. That's why I always tell a lot of folks, you know, because I'm going to be myself no matter what. I wanted Carl to be here tonight because he's the most incredible football player I've ever seen, and I have seen a lot of them. Carl, how long have you been playing football? Well, I should have been playing football at least 12 years. Is there anything that you can't do? I can do everything but drive a standard shift car, standard. I can't do that. You cannot do that, but you can do everything else. Right. 
Uh, what are your plans for the future? What do you well, want to do? Well, I plan on going to college and take up our business and our probably biology. When I finish, I'll go out and be a high school coach. Carl, we happen to know that one of the top college coaches in the country has taken a special interest in you. And he's Coach Jackie Sherrill, head football coach of the University of Pittsburgh. And we're going to talk to him right now. Good evening, Coach Sherrill. Good evening, friend. Why were you so interested in Carl? I certainly I think that you become more compassionate the longer you stay in this game of, of people that are handicapped because uh, we're dealing with very physical specimens uh, that are, are great physical specimens that, that have all the attributes of uh, size and strength and speed and agility. And all of a sudden, here's a young man that does not have but one leg and, all, and he is also being able to do these things. Do you think Carl could play football on the college team? Carl could play uh, in a small college or a junior college level. I think it would be very difficult for him to play in a major college uh, division one level. Although that, you know, how can you tell a young man that has done what Carl has done that he couldn't play or he can't play? What does Carl need to get to the University of Pittsburgh? Right now that he is preparing himself academically uh, to, to get his learning skills up to a point where he can compete in college. What final words of encouragement would you give Carl? The biggest encouragement that I can give him as I've sat down and talked to him is to force people to not feel sorry for him and to uh, tax him the same way academically as he's been taxed uh, athletically. Thank you, Coach Cheryl. Thank you, friend. It was a nice pleasure. Well, Carl, we know you're going to accomplish whatever you set out to do. And thank you for being with us.